One of the conditions I feel like we've got very good at treating in the office is that of plantar fasciitis. This thing can be very detrimental to athletes and almost every runner has had this at one time or another. You're gonna see it in a lot of different sports and I wanna explain the way we treat it in here because it's a lot different than the information you're gonna find online a lot of times. The plantar fascia is the series of fascia that surrounds the tendons and muscles on the bottom of the foot. So how your foot should work is these muscles should glide back and forth and the fascia allows for the outer covering. Now, if you get adhesion in that area, it kind of binds up and it keeps this from moving properly. So the more you have to use your foot, the more irritations there's gonna be. What we like to do on here is get in with the grass and tools and really break up any of the adhesions and the scar tissue, hopefully supplying that smooth motion so it can go. Now, ice is paramount in this issue. If you ever have a condition that ends in itis, you know it's inflamed. This is why cortisone shots are so popular for this condition and why they're not a bad idea if it's been chronic. We like to go in there and make sure everything's moving the right way. I like to take a frozen water bottle, specifically one that has some edges, and get in there and make sure that you ice it. And this needs to be daily. This is one of those conditions that's gonna be a lot of homework at yourself. And I tell most of my clients that come in here with the plantar fascia issue, only about 50% get better, but that's only because 50% listen to what I tell them to do. You need to get that ice on there and rotate that thing probably twice a day until it gets numb. I also think I don't like a lot of support in my shoes when people are going through a plantar fascia. One of the very common treatments for this is to get shoes with very high arches or an arch support. And what I think you're doing is you're limiting the functionality. So one of the things that chiropractors can do different than a lot of other treating physicians is get in there and move the joints, specifically the navicular and the calcaneus, which is the heel. That plantar fascia connects at both these areas, and if there's any restriction that's not moving, it's definitely going to make it work a lot harder. I also don't like people wearing flip-flops when they're having this condition because the toes have to contract every single time you take a step. That's about 1,600 times a mile and most people walk around for a couple miles a day. So you're continuing to irritate this thing. So again, we wanna restore the proper function. We wanna make sure the fascia is working the right way, get the inflammation out of there, and definitely make sure that that arch is functional. I tend to not like braces for most of this, but we have good results. It's just one of them that takes a lot of homework and I don't like you in my office over and over for this. I can give you the stuff you can do at home. You just need to do it.